In this video, we will look at finding a formula that can help us complete the square on more involved problems. This equation is the general form of an equation we would normally solve by completing the square. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c we will assume are numbers. x is the variable we are solving for. To solve by completing the square, the first thing we do is separate the variables from the numbers. Because c doesn't have any x's on it, we need to move it to the other side by subtracting c from both. This gives us ax squared plus bx equals negative c. Our next step is we like the x squared to be alone. We need to divide by the a to clear it out of the way. As we do, we divide each and every term by a, giving us x squared plus b over a x equals negative c over a. Next, we need to find the number that completes the square. We do this by taking half of the middle term, or the middle coefficient, b over a, and square it. This would be b over 2a squared. Squaring the numerator gives us b squared, and the denominator gives us 4a squared. This is what we have to add on both sides of the equation b squared over 4a squared on both sides. When we've done this, the left side of the equation will be a perfect square. We take the square root of the first term, which is x, the sign from the middle, plus, and the square root of the last term. The square root of b squared is b over 4a squared, the square root, is 2a. On the other side, we need to get a common denominator in order to add these together. The common denominator will be 4a squared, so we need to multiply by 4a on top and bottom. That first fraction then becomes negative 4ac over 4a squared. With the b squared on there, all over the common denominator, we have a b squared, and a negative 4ac, all over the common denominator, 4a squared. We are now ready to get rid of the exponent by taking the square root of both sides. Square root and square are inverses, and we're left with x plus b over 2a equals the square root of the fraction. To take a square root of the fraction, we take the square root of the numerator and denominator. Don't forget, we need a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which can't simplify because we can't take the square root of a difference, just a product, over the square root of 4a squared is 2a. To get the x alone, we simply subtract b over 2a from both sides. When we do, because there's already a common denominator, we can write them all over the single denominator. We get the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. This result that we get for x is going to be very important to us as we solve equations. Anytime we have the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where we know what the number a, b, and c are, we can solve them using this thing called the quadratic formula. which says that x is equal to the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. This formula we will use a lot, and is very useful to commit to memory. A formula that we found simply by completing the square, on ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0.